identifying and correcting errors. It's important when working with Excel and working with formulas in Excel that you understand um, when an error message occurs, what that error message means. So when you're working with the spreadsheet, it's important that errors are identified, investigated, and then corrected. So what I'd like to show you in this session is a, a few of those common error messages that occur when working with Excel. One is a circular reference. These obviously usually represent a mistake that has been made within the formula. For example, a form that includes a reference to its own cell address. So I'm including where the formula occurs, I'm including, or the cell reference that the formula is in, I'm including that in the range within that formula too, and this is what causes that circular reference. Another couple of common errors that occur when it comes to Excel is uh, another couple of error messages, common error messages that occur when it comes to Excel is the div zero. So you're trying to divide a value within Excel with a zero. This generally occurs when you're trying to um, work two formulas, one formula of another formula. Another common one would be the value. And this generally occurs when there's a text value contained within a range of numeric values. Now, there is one formula that tends to ignore the text values, as one being the actual sum function, so it won't come up the, the, the hash value error. But generally, if I've got a range of cells and I'm trying to include or I'm trying to work a formula off those and unfortunately there's a text value contained with one of the, or a few of those cells, this is where the hash value error occurs. Another common one is the name. In previous chapters, we've spoke about named ranges. And if I'm using a name range that doesn't exist or I've tried to use a name range that doesn't exist in a formula, for whatever reason, maybe it was deleted or it was misspelt, well, this is where the name error occurs. Now, it also occurs with the misspelling of formulas too. So I've included an extra letter in the formula, whatever, you'll get the name error. So generally, just generally when you come across the name error, it's because of really two reasons. It doesn't or can't find the name range or you've maybe misspelled the formula. So that's one quick way of finding out uh, what's happening there. Another one, the ref. Ref, again, being a common one, if I've got um, a formula that's maybe pulling data in from multiple sheets or maybe other workbooks and one of those sheets or one of those workbooks gets deleted or moved well this is where the ref error occurs so the formula includes an invalid cell reference for example a reference to a cell that has sub -sub subsequently been deleted or even moved num invalid numeric values i've seen this occur um when importing data from other systems into Excel, it might be recognized as a numeric value in the system, but as soon as it comes into Excel, it doesn't recognize it as being a numeric. So therefore you get this num error. NA, a value is not available to a function or formula. Uh, very common occurrence with lookups. If it hasn't found a value or you haven't told it what to look up yet, generally you get the NA. And then the hash symbol, column is not wide enough to display its contents or when a negative number is displayed as a date or a time. So generally, that's generally where you'll get this uh, with dates and times. But in most cases, it means that the contents of the cell is not wide enough. So generally going up to the column heading and um, using the auto fit and the double click feature will widen the column and it will widen the contents.